So Ian, you appear to be um, standing in a what is a bed full of weeds while while pruning your produce. Could you could you is is is, is this to say that like in an organic farm there is weeds are allowed? Well, weeds uh, only become your enemy when they really do something totally undesirable for you. You know, other than that. Um, you sort of you don't really look at weeds as your enemy, as as possibly your friends. You know, there's things that they can do. Take for example this bed here, the recent really hot weather. It was great that this grass was here. You know, it actually protected all the plants and kept a little, quite a cool little ecosystem going on. Um, the other thing is it provides lots of cover for the birds. We get fairy wrens come in here by you know, by the dozens in the morning and they busily pick all the caterpillars off, you know? But they like cover from the predator birds, don't they? The reality is to actually get rid of this weed, once it gets this long, is really quite simple, because you just bend it over and step on it. And it has the decency to stay crushed and uh, stays down. Usually once I do this, it pretty much stays down and starts growing on a bent angle thus away from the bed and as you can see you don't really need to get rid of the weeds altogether just keep them away like that you see that? because you can see the amount of hay or mulch you've got on the on the garden look at that there's actually quite a where's my hand oh look there's a lot of mulch there isn't there far out what's that 100 mil 90 yeah, mil well, often with a bed like this that's going into summer production We'll put, um, we'll put as heavy as we can get on the bed, you know. Uh, consequently, um, yeah, you can get extremely thick uh, mulch. Because we don't really want any weeds coming through summer because at the end of spring is when all the weeds come. You know, you get the bountiful crop of weeds, basically. Yeah, that's right, because as you can see, even where all the, the tomatoes are, it's where the mulch is, there are no weeds. But look at the room he's created in his garden. Just by pushing the weeds out of the way. And then at the end of the crop cycle, once you come out at the end of the season, you've got to remember these tomatoes only have a life cycle and very soon they'll be over. And then, then the whole thing goes. So everything goes. Everything gets tilled and, and nothing survives. The weeds, the weeds get tilled as well? Yep, everything. Everything goes again and yeah. goes straight back into the soil. All back in, we deep rip it all first and then till it back into the soil.